everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We are going to use some of our pour painted rocks to create these really cool, like mushroom style rocks. So a pour, um, if you're not familiar with that, acrylic pouring is kind of layering your paints and pouring them. I will link to pour painting tutorials. I'm not pouring in this actual video, but we have loads of information about that on the channel. So. What we need to do is just kind of look at our rock and try to pick out where our mushrooms are going to be. Um, most of the time when the pores are going this way, they tend to create these fun um, patterns as opposed to like, say, a flip cup type pour where it kind of spills out to the sides, might be a little trickier. So try to find one that has some horizontal lines to it. So on this rock, I actually I'm seeing two mushrooms. So we're gonna do a little one and a big one up here kind of hovering over the top like a mama and it's baby little mushroom. So you just have to let the rock kind of show you where it's gonna be at. So I'm going to just, oh, I was talking too long. Let me lid off Ooh, and now I just bonked you, sorry. So we're gonna go, this is gonna be the stem of the mama gonna be coming down over here and the bottom is looking right here to me. And our top is way up here. Now you don't always have to follow lines that are on here. Um, I like to use the lines that they have, but then every once in a while, like here, I'm gonna cut that back because that's the way our mushroom is gonna be shaped. Uh, so you can kind of take some liberty with the lines. See, I'm not gonna have my stem go all the way out like that, like that line does. So we'll just come up and do a little stem here. And once you create the line, you can't even tell it was supposed to kind of keep going in the other direction. So we're gonna do our underside here. And create our top. See, there wasn't a specific line I followed there, but see, they just leave these really cool designs inside. So we have our basic where we're going to place our mushrooms down. So the rest of this is depending on your rock and things like that. So I like to give the mushrooms kind of a place that they're they're living or growing from. So you can easily do a little grass. I like to kind of start on one layer, just with little hashes upward, kind of some curving, and then just kind of move forward. And you can kind of give it some of it some peaks. But we are gonna just kind of add in some grass. Just like that, we're gonna be very loose. Okay, you can also give the mushrooms some shape by adding kind of these curved lines here, just a little bit, maybe just along one side where maybe the shadow would be like that. And then we're gonna do some lines under the underside of the mushroom because that's usually where all that texture is at. So remember, the back point from the center is actually gonna be pulling back and away like that. So what I like to do is I like to place down a few guidelines before I go crazy in here, just so I know I keep my angles properly. So from the center, this would pretty much go straight up and down. From the side area here would come about here. And then in the back area, it's gonna kinda of come down and away. So now when you're pulling from the outside edges, you can have them coming in between some of these areas like that. All right, and then now you can kind of come in and add just a few more texture lines coming in from the outside and in from the, or out from the in. Okay, just some texture in the underside. like that and then you can do the same thing with your actual top if you want to add some lines that kind of come around from the outer edge just to give it a little bit more shape you can kind of follow some of them in let them kind of taper off if you want to just 
Okay, and then we've got our mama way up here. So same thing, this center is kind of going to go all the way out, right? And then this is only going to go that short little distance up, and you might see some kind of coming back up and in here. But just be careful to try to keep that making sense, because the angles can be pretty harsh. Maybe a couple coming in from each way over there. Okay, get the other side. Let's give this then just a little bit more shape. So I think these are just fun to do on pores. It's just, you can kind of like find an idea picture inside of it. So here's the other one that we did here. Um, you can also zoom way back and do, I did this with white. This one could use a little bit more, but you can kind of place them in on here, add some clouds and things as well. And it's just that simple. So you just are finding that amazing, image oh. <laughs> inside your rock. So again, I will link to um, pour painting videos here at the end. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know what you think below. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.